Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, I decided to do this video about the Insider program for Windows because I get tons of requests of people wondering where all of this is happening. I still get tons of people saying well you show us the latest build here and uh, we'd like to have a link for downloading this. That's now how it works. The uh, Insider program is something you can enable within Windows and that's where you'll get the insider builds. I thought we'd um, kind of talk about it again because since the last time I talked about what was the insider program on this channel things have changed uh, mainly what's happening with the insider program what are we testing exactly and I'll throw in another little uh, detail about another type of program for insiders which is the Edge Chromium insider program at the same time so we'll kind of talk about all the insider stuff. So what's the insider program? Once again, it's testing of Windows or if we have uh, the Edge browser, Edge Chromium browsers, uh, that will be in the future. So you're testing versions of Windows before everybody else. And that is cool. And for a lot of people, that is fun. But there's of course not just posi positive sides of having that happen one of the things that can happen is that you might be stuck with some problems so the insider program isn't for everybody the Windows insider program is for people that know their way around PCs that have the ability to easily reinstall Windows if needed if you can do that if that's something that you're capable of then you might want to consider the insider program but the other thing is the insider builds are not meant for everyday use on your main computers that means if you have um, and want to be an insider and you have only one PC and that PC is very important well you might not want to be an insider because that might actually be a problem and the reason why is because insider previews are giving you unfinished code beta versions of Windows that means they could be buggy they could have problems sometimes you could be stuck with a problem that you can't upgrade and that's something you need to know because your main PC you might be important to keep it running so it might not be a good idea to actually have it on your main PC where and how should you test this? Well, you know what? If you got a spare laptop, desktop, you don't use much, that could be the excellent reason to be an insider. You have a second laptop lying around and you're not using, even if it's a little older, why not turn it into a Windows Insider laptop? There, if something goes bad, at least it's on another laptop, another computer, no problems. Um, this is the way I work. I use this laptop as an insider laptop. My main computer is on Windows 10 1903. I never, never push any insider builds on it. I always push the latest versions on it. So where do you become an insider if you want to become an insider? Now that you know that there are risks, that there could be some problems, that you need to know what to do. Well it's enabled through Windows. If you go into your settings and you go into Windows or the update and security tab you'll see that on the bottom left there's something called Windows Insider Program. When you click here it's actually going to give you the details of the Insider Program. Now here if you're not an insider already you will have the option to start the process of being an insider. If you do, it's going to give you three different ways to be an insider. What we call fast ring, what we call slow ring, and what we call release preview ring. What's the difference? Fast ring pushes you to the uh, fast lane. You get updates roughly once a week you have a new version of Windows and they take time to install you gotta know that it could take an hour two hour three hours depending on the, how old your machine is it's a reinstall of Windows once a week you wanna live through that you're capable of living through that then fast ring could be for you right now 
as of today, July 19th, 2019, FastRing is giving you actually 20 H1 builds. What does that mean? That means you're testing. That means you're testing right now the version of Windows that will be available early next year, 2020. And the latest build we have right now is 18941. You could see the number here on the bottom right of the waterfall here, of the waterfall, of the, <laughs> of the watermark. Um, and it says evaluation copy build 18941. That's where we are at today. This is testing of features and testing of windows that will come out roughly in, you know, nine months from now. So that's where FastRing is. You've got another choice, SlowRing. SlowRing is maybe a little better for those that don't want to have complete reinstalls of Windows. Why? Right now, SlowRing is testing 19H2 builds. What does that mean? That means it's testing the next version of Windows that's coming out in September or, or October of this year. And the main difference, and where it might be more uh, interesting for some people, is that it's not a complete reinstall. 19H2 builds are actually coming through cumulative updates, just like monthly security updates. So that means they take 15, 20 minutes to install. They're not very long. It's not a complete reinstall, so you're not going to go nuts about things that you have to reconfigure all the time. It might be better for you. You're still testing Windows from the future, but it's just that it's a future that's not very far away. It's the next version rather than being uh, in the version of next year. So you'll be testing September or October. And then there's, of course, um, release preview. That is mostly for testing of cumulative updates. And, and it's still right now, for example, in the May 2019 update, testing some of these updates that they're pushed to release preview to test cumulative updates uh, for 1903 but they're not big versions of Windows that you're getting through that most of the time. Yes, you do, but then when Release Preview gets a version of Windows, a new version of Windows, that means we're almost at a new version of Windows for everybody. So FastRing, more buggy, but you're testing something from uh, next year that might have more features. SlowRing, a lot less buggy. Uh, testing some new features and testing Windows that's coming this September, October. And all of that, once it's activated, is coming through Windows Updates. So once you are in the Insider program, when you'll click Windows Updates, you'll see these builds show up in Windows Updates. That's where we get them. You need a Microsoft account to be an Insider. That's something you need to know. But once you are activated there, you, of course, can go through that. One word of caution, if you think that, that, you know, oh, I'll be an insider for a month. If I don't like it, I'll stop. Unfortunately, you can't do that. Because if you become an insider for a month, you will be stuck with a build of insiders. That means if you don't want to be an insider in a month from now, I'll have to reinstall Windows with the May 2019 update, for example. You can't go back. And you can't keep that build because it expires quite fast. So if you jump into the insider program, you got to make sure that you're going to stay on for at least the next full version. And if you want to escape once that is done, because a lot of people go into the insider program kind of not knowing what they're going into and they want to get out, well, the best bet if you don't want to reinstall completely from scratch with the May 2019 update is to turn off this, turn on this little slider here, stop getting preview builds. That will not stop it right away. This will stop it once you get the official release of the next version of Windows. That means if you turn that on and you're in fast ring, you're going to get builds until early next year when officially 20H1 is released. And the slow ring, you'll get builds or cumulative updates until September or October before it stops. But at least that is a nice switch because it actually lets you get off once it's official. So that's for the Windows Insider program. And last but not least, we have something that is the Edge Chromium Insider program. And here you see one of the Edge Insider programs um, builds. This is the developer build 
of this week. And what is that? Well, that is the testing of the um, browser, the new browser that Microsoft is actually working on. So that means that here you get the um, latest builds of the new browser that Microsoft will be releasing later this year. This is a redesign, complete redesign of Microsoft Edge with the Chromium uh, engine, which is an open source Chromium engine. So you can test that out. Now, what's nice about this? You can test it out without doing anything insider. So you don't have to go into the insider program. You just download it from this page. And here you'll have either the Canary channel, which is updated every day, the developer channel updated weekly, and soon we'll have the uh, beta channel updated every six weeks. This is available to Windows 7, 8.1, and 10 users. And the good thing about this is that you can safely download these, um, ver these Edge Chromium browsers and it won't affect anything else in your PC. That means if you're using Chrome or another browser, it won't touch that. It won't change anything on that. So you can still stay with your favorite browser, but at the same time, play around and check out what's happening with the uh, uh, Edge Chromium browsers. And finally, if you do become an insider of either that or the Windows Insider program, I have a channel that's dedicated to that. Here we have quick rundowns of the latest fast ring builds but that's pretty much it on the insider channel we have more details about it we talk more about it we talk about the latest uh, edge chromium builds we talk about many things that is not available here so that might be where you want to go of course I'll be posting the link to my channel and I'll post a link to this edge chromium uh, also in the description below the video so you can check it out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, well, it's up to you to know if you want to become an insider or not.